What's going on everyone? Today we are going to go pick up a 2001 Volkswagen Jetta with the VR6. It's a 5-speed manual and it currently is in pretty rough shape because it hasn't been driven in a year and the shop it went in to go get shifter bushings and the shop messed with a bunch of stuff so we're gonna go pick it up and I'm gonna get that on video on the trailer and bring it home and then start a series of me fixing up this car and then we'll eventually sell it. Stop! Forty-five minute drive later and we're at the Jetta. It is a 2001 Volkswagen Jetta with the 12 valve VR6. It's the GLS model. It's got a five-speed manual. In this clip I am speaking about plugging up all the vacuum lines that are broken so the car will idle somewhat normally. It is too windy to hear me talk in this clip so I'm doing a voiceover. I'm pointing out a line here which in later videos you will find out where it goes and the brake booster line is cracked so there's a bunch of tape on it to try and slow down the leak and right here I'm looking for bolts that could be stuck in the little drain there for the rain because they were missing There's an electric water pump in there. It stays running after you shut it off because these engines run really hot. Oh yeah, this doesn't work. I don't want that splashing on everything though. Yeah, the bumper cover's hitting. At this point, I was trying to line up the Jetta with the ramps on the trailer. Keep in mind it was really hard to drive because of all the vacuum leaks. So the car would idle at like 1500 RPM and the second you hit the gas it would try to stall.
about an hour later and we're back home. Good morning everyone. It is the next day and it was really windy yesterday when we were trying to get the Jetta. So I didn't get much video, but we're going to take it off the trailer now. Yeah, as you can see, 84,000 miles. Five-speed manual. It's got the upgrade radio and the wheels. <laughs> yeah, just back up. Right back, you're good. All right, you ready to rip some donuts? <laughs> my GoPro glitched and lost all the footage for rinsing this previously so here you are watching me do it again enjoy I rinsed it off with the pressure washer after the soap, but the GoPro failed again and lost all that footage. So here is the end result. Well, it's not the end result, I still have to dry it. But here's the result after spraying it off. It was super dusty when I got it, and I wanted to give it a little rinse before I started working on it. Just to have a good base to work on. Got the Jetta up on the ramps that I bought. Got it all nice and clean. Wheels turned out pretty good. I just scrubbed them with a washcloth. I gotta get some actual spray for them. Detail them up. The only real bad one is this one. It's got a, got some curb, curb smashers. But all the bolts holding the front bumper on and the core support are gone <laughs> like see all of them in there those are all missing the ones behind the grill are missing the ones under the hood there's one there and one there holding the core support on those are missing well actually there's one on that side that was there but underneath the little plastic shield 
is in the trunk. Look how cool that is. Volkswagen logo right there. Um, it looks like it needs a new belt and oil change it should be pretty easy. Filters right there, plugs right there. And yeah. Now I'm gonna pull it to its spot where it's gonna sit till we work on it, or while we work on it. Yeah. The only real paint issues are the roof. It's got classic Arizona damage. And the trunk lid. And the bumper. But that's it. This side of the door isn't like the other side. And the hood. Only real spot on the hood. This tiny bit right there. But yeah, the car's looking nice. So can't wait to order some parts and get them in. Alright, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. There will be more videos to come, and I hope you guys are enjoying the series. See you in the next one.